Jimmy and Chris and the whole Auto Club team come up with over the winter. Uh, even yesterday when the track was 107 degrees and we went up there and ran 84, uh, you don't surprise Jimmy very often. And that run surprised him, it surprised me too. But uh, this is, uh, I'm very fortunate to get to drive this thing right now. It's, uh, it's what you dream about. And uh, you know, it's not gonna get any easier all on, from here on out. You got big battles last weekend with Caps, this weekend with Hagen, and uh, you're gonna see a lot of these battles all year long. Just hope we're up for it. Let's open it up to members of the media. Phil Burgess, NHRA National Dragster. Is there a fine line to run between performance and consistency? You guys have done both, which is, doesn't happen a lot, but is, it, is that what Jimmy's going for, more consistency, and the good runs are coming because he's learning, or is it a combination of both? Well, Jimmy, Jimmy and Chris, uh, they like they like big numbers, okay? They push this thing, but I'll be honest, we have not found, found the edge yet. This thing is very, very safe early on. And that's what we had last year that didn't work. I mean, you'd be you'd be going along and then for no reason at all, just blow the tires off the hit. And this thing's anchored, it's got great traction. And, uh, you know, honestly, I was a little nervous because Hagen ran 82 last night. Similar conditions and, you know, Jimmy, you know he's gonna go up there and say, okay, well, we're not gonna lay up and run 84, okay? We gotta go and because we honestly believe those guys can run 82 and we're gonna go for it and it ran 83, okay? With a, with a nitro car, you, it's pretty darn close, right? But uh, no, Jimmy, Jimmy's not gonna be happy until he finds the edge. But uh, the consistency on this side of that edge, is pretty amazing. You know, you start getting over that edge, then it's gonna, you're gonna start seeing some tire spin. And, and from here on out, you know, we're gonna start seeing warmer racetracks, and we're gonna have to race a little different than we are right now. But uh, I mean, you gotta give them a, you know, an A plus for the first two races. The only run you didn't run in the three was Pomona Q2. Was that a tire smoker? What was going on there? Yeah, we, we well, we actually had um, a messed up clutch disc, okay? And we, we had to make a change. And we messed the clutch, to, the clutch messed up on the night run. So then for Q2, we put a different disc in it and it took us a run to figure it out. After that, it's been 80s all the way. It's a crazy world when an 84 is a layup. Name and affiliation, questions for Robert Hyde. Devin Henry, Sports 360 AC, huge congrats, Robert. But when you talk about the stretch that you've been on and how difficult the future still is with how difficult this class is, does it make the rest of the season, or I guess the most recent part coming up next, a little bit of a relief off of your shoulders, or does it make it even more intense knowing that you have this run going? No, it's um, you. You can't take anybody lightly. You gotta you gotta stay focused, and you know it's uh, put this behind us, and you know. These things, they're, they're finicky. You could, go to, you could go, go to Gainesville and have a bunch of troubles because you know, we haven't been on a, on a warm racetrack yet. So uh, no, we gotta stay focused it, and you know, not get complacent. We gotta know that uh, all the rest of these guys are gonna be gunning for us and they're gonna be pushing hard and we just gotta keep doing our job. And that's really, you know, you can't, you can't let up any time during the year. You, we, wanna, we wanna really focus and work and try to win every race we go to this year. And you know that still isn't a guarantee you're going to win the championship. Robert, you talked a lot uh, before about you know the last championship you, you pretty much dominated start to finish. That's one that you treasure because you were good regular season, good in the countdown. To start like this, does it start to, to give you think you know those those thoughts of you know we've got a chance to, to be really good all season long. Yeah, you know it does. Um, you you just but you've got to stay focused. Uh, if you just start thinking, oh man, we, this is easy. We've got this. Uh, we're the best car out here. It it'll slap you right in the face so fast. You no, know, we have to continual continuously work hard, and uh, you know the results will come. But uh, I am excited about you know getting to some different conditions. We haven't raced in any humidity yet, and you get all that all at once in Gainesville. So it's. Uh, Unfortunately, we don't get to race next weekend. Uh, when you're on a roll like this, this is when you want to just keep racing. But uh, we'll get a weekend off, we'll enjoy it, we'll work hard, and uh, show up to Gainesville and try to do it again. I uh, want to get one quick comment on just this this weekend. You know, you, you pull up and see the stands are packed, great weather, you know, just fans lined up all over the place. Uh, what's that like for you to, to enjoy a weekend like this, especially when you have success? This was an amazing weekend. Um, <clears throat> even on Friday, you know, for the Friday crowd was, was pretty darn good. And uh, I, I could just sense that, you know, Saturday and Sunday were gonna be 
you know, close to sellouts if they weren't already. Standing room only, you know, out there. That's what we want. Uh, we want to put on a great show for the fans. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think it showed that these fans missed NHRA drag racing, you know, in 2021. And uh, we, we definitely put on a good show for them. But it's, it's amazing when you can see, you know, packed house, full fields, and it shows that, you know, NHRA drag racing strong. Go into the clutch setup uh, switch a little bit deeper. You alluded to it out in Pomona. Here we are, you've won two in a row that uh, you kind of got off track in 21, went back to what worked in 2020, but, but go deeper in that. Is it exactly, or did you learn something from the failures that you added to what was working back then to create what we're seeing right now? Man, I can't give you all these uh, secrets. <laughs> secrets, but it's our job Man. to extract the secrets. There's cameras and stuff around here. This dude. is going out to the World Wide Web, so give us all the secrets. Right? Well, all I can tell you is I'm gonna hide all those parts that we ran in 21, and I want them out of the trailer, okay? I don't want them anywhere near our team. Uh, you know, we went more, like I said, back to how we ran it in 19. And, you know, Jimmy also, and Chris, they did some other things. And uh, it's, it's responding. I mean, we, like I said, we haven't found the edge yet. And, uh, but, like, you never know. How's it, gonna, how's it gonna be when it's hot out? We're gonna find out soon. The next race is the Emily Motor Oil NHRA Gator Nationals, the East Coast opener, one of the crown jewel races, biggest races on the NHRA Camping World Series Tour. We've got all kinds of stuff going on there, including the Pep Boys All-Star Top Fuel call out. You guys will have your funny car call out at the U.S. Nationals. Talk a little bit about what a big deal the Gator Nationals is for race fans out there. Uh, that's one of my favorite races, you know. I've uh, been fortunate enough to get to win it a few times. And last year went to the final, didn't get it done. Uh, both JR, Todd, and I smoked the tires at the hit, but uh, looking forward to getting there. That's, it's the who's who of drag racing is there, okay? Everybody is there. Don Garlitz, big night at the Hall of Fame. Uh, big names this year with Scotty Cannon, Tim Richards. Uh, that's just, that's cool stuff. And everybody will be there to see those guys, you know, get inducted into the Hall of Fame. And, you know, you get to see a lot of the East Coast fans for the first time. A lot of people winter in Florida. And uh, they really, you know, they've been through a couple rough years with COVID and restrictions. I think you're gonna see more sellouts there. You know, it's, it's traditionally a race that has a lot of fans. You know, uh, when you're going into the place and you see people trying to sell tickets, you know there's gonna be a lot of people. Can't wait to get there and uh, get back to qualifying. Two for two and 22. Robert Hyde, congratulations. Uh, enjoy the win and we'll Any see you. Any more questions? Any more questions? How about our yeah. fans? We've got a special fan group in here, guys. What do you Joe think, Robert Hyde? Joe's ready for a beer? Joe. Thank you, Robert.